2A is a broad umbrella term covering the shared responsibilities of both the contractor and the agency for achieving a project's contracted level of quality. Under the umbrella, the basic categories of responsibilities are quality control, or QC, activities performed by the contractor, and acceptance activities performed by the local public agency. The contractor's QC function requires ongoing monitoring and measurement to continually adjust and control the quality. This is accomplished through QC inspection, sampling, and testing at both materials production facilities and at the project site. The agency's acceptance function means taking responsibility for verifying and accepting the quality of materials and construction workmanship. Complete QA implementation requires three major components, which can be illustrated as tiers within a pyramid diagram to show how these components build upon each other. First and foundational is joint agency and industry support. This means commitment, communication, training and funding by both contractors and agencies to ensure that sufficient resources, including personnel and equipment, are in place to perform the required quality functions. These ongoing support activities are needed so that QA principles are mutually understood and correctly applied. LPAs and their consultants should be aware of existing resources such as QA training available through their state DOT and other organizations. The second tier of the pyramid is a formal QA program developed and documented by the agency. The QA program outlines overall requirements for all projects. A well-developed program outlines the proper agency and contractor roles and responsibilities. Each State Department of Transportation, or DOT, must have a QA program approved by FHWA, and we would encourage LPAs to use these for your projects. A complete QA program includes the six core elements of contractor quality control, agency acceptance, independent assurance, dispute resolution, laboratory accreditation, qualification, and personnel qualification certification. Specific requirements for each element are provided in FHWA's regulations and related FHWA and AASHTO guidance documents. Let's go over the QA program requirement based on road designation for federal aid projects. For projects on the National Highway System, or NHS, the LPA must have an FHWA-approved QA program that addresses the six core elements. The NHS includes the Interstate Highway System and other major roads designated by each state. In this case, an LPA may either adopt the state DOT's approved program requirements or develop an LPA QA program that complies with FHWA requirements and is approved by the state DOT and FHWA. For projects not on the NHS, FHWA does not have specific QA program requirements. However, LPAs are responsible to ensure that each federal aid project receives adequate supervision and inspection. With this in mind, LPAs should have a program that is acceptable to the state DOT, and that includes the six core elements. Several state DOTs have developed special QA programs for use on LPA projects. We recommend that an LPA identify the acceptance activities to be performed by the agency or by its consultant as a key part of any QA program. In addition, FHWA highly recommends your program identify the minimum requirements for a contractor's QC system to ensure real-time inspection that will head off quality issues. The third tier of the pyramid is quality assurance specifications. These provide project-specific instructions for implementing the QA program which will be included in the contract. These specifications include contractor QC requirements, such as minimum inspection and testing activity, the agency acceptance criteria, 
including the items to be inspected, materials to be tested, and quality standards that will be applied. How to make payments that are based on the measured construction quality, including any incentives and disincentives.